troops trying to stop us. Their intention is to delay us, not stop us. Engineers are currently preparing an organized defense ahead. They can waste that many troops? Yes. Cerberus employs Reaper augmentation on captured civilians to create functional shock troops quickly. Just like the Reapers did with the Collectors, turning people. We will be through momentarily. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. Pretty stark. You okay? I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. I don't remember anything. Maybe they really just fixed me. Or maybe I'm just a high-tech VI that thinks it's Commander Shepard. But I don't know. You're real. A little crazy, maybe, but real. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, Shepard's an Alliance soldier. As far as she knows, we're a terrorist organization. I'm not looking for a dance partner. We need Shepard, and Shepard needs resources. She'll work with us. He really had you boxed in. Every instinct I had told me not to trust Cerberus. But I needed their help, so I played along. You did what you had to, Shepard. And I was there with you. Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We'll want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwas and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. Sneaky little bastard. Use them to keep you from seeing the real Cerberus. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. Detection team, what's your status? We cleared the hangar and are inside the base. Good work. Do you need support? Negative. Keep the heat on. We'll find what we need. Hey guys, what's going down? This is Ares. Back here with Mass Effect 3. And we're on the second to last mission here. And for those of you that have started this mission up, uh, this is the no turning back point. And right here we're going to get through this corridor. It's a little bit difficult because they're going to be setting up turrets all over the place. And they got shield barriers everywhere too. So we're basically going to abuse the AI into giving up their cover because what the AI likes to do especially when they're using cover, is they will use the cover that's furthest away from you. So you see how I'm over here right now, and they're give and a lot of the engineers are giving up their cover. So, basically the way to do this is to not take them head on, and they'll, they'll go full retard. And we're going to especially see that coming up here. But, uh, yeah, if you, if you try to take these guys head on, then you're just going to die, because the turrets are so damn strong. So make sure you take out the shield batteries before you do anything else. Uh, I already talked about this, how it basically gives them infinite life, but uh, it's especially true. So keep using, I keep using my squad's abilities on the engineers because you really need to take them out because they'll um, place down new turrets when old turrets get destroyed and they'll repair the turrets and all that stuff. So once you take out a combat engineer, go ahead and take out a turret because I'm pretty sure it's linked up 
um, combat engineers can only place down one turret and all that stuff. Or the amount of turrets set up has to be equal to the number of engineers. All that stuff. So just uh, keep working your way through. You got the turrets as you go. Dodge the grenades. They really won't be able to do too much to you because the cover pieces aren't designed in this room to hit you where you're at. So they're going to usually be out of cover. Keep on moving up here. And there was one guy behind us for some reason. Take him out. Alright, so now we're going to move up. And there's going to be a lot more engineers here. So, most of my power-ups at this, like, my squad mates' abilities are able to take out combat engineers and pretty much uh, the full overcharge and... Grenade launcher, um, whatever, whatever it's called. It's usually able to take everything out in about one hit, especially for shields, because the way that I've uh, built out my character is I'm extremely effective against warp, armor, and health, but especially armor and health. And my squad mates are extremely capable of taking out um, shields. So basically, I cover everything that I'm bad at with my squad mates. And Garrus is also very good against uh, barriers. So here's the last area. Make sure you take out that shield barrier, battery, barrier, pylon, whatever it's called. And so no more free energy for them. And as we can see, there is a turret in the back. So we're going to flank it and trick all of these guys. Because really, if you try to get into a firefight with them, they have, they're kind of like a Call of Duty World at War. Germans where they have infinite grenades and they throw one about every five seconds like that So we're gonna basically not fight them in a straight-up firefight because we'll lose because we don't have infinite grenades unfortunately So we're gonna move around the side and make them give up their cover Which is a pretty easy task and there's cover right there to do that and of course they pop the smoke grenade so they don't want to get shot at, but uh, they don't really got a choice in this matter. So, once they are all done running away from their turret, we can just uh, take them out with a biotic charge and mop-up effort, because they guess didn't want to get protected by the turret. So now everything's down except for that turret, so just take it out, and that's the end of this video. Well, not the end of this video, the end of the commentary. And I'll uh, catch you guys at the boss fight. I will bypass the lock. If you are interested, the console nearby is still functional. Here's what we recovered. Smart enough to signal for help, but it won't be talking philosophy anytime soon. You'd be surprised, Doctor. Once we combine it with the pieces we recovered from the Citadel, I'm still concerned about that. This rogue VI wiped out every soldier on Luna. Combining it with Reap Attack, well... That's what the shackles are for. The enhanced defense intelligence will be completely under control. You were that rogue VI on Luna? Yes. I heard about the Luna incident. Ugly all around. It was difficult. Gaining awareness while under attack was confusing. I am pleased that my relationship with Organics has become more cooperative. Our sims indicate that the enhanced defense intelligence gives the highest combat improvement on frigates. Anything heavier, and the ships react too slowly to benefit from Edie's advice. Edie? Oh, that's, uh, well, the boys in the lab came up with a name for her. For it. Good work. I'll take your recommendations on planned installation. Sir, she... It can be very persuasive. If it were to turn a crewman, convince them to disable the shackles. Well... It's a cyber warfare suite, Doctor. Nothing more. Shows what he knew. 
It is unlikely that anyone without Jeff's extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I don't know. With that voice. What about the backups? I'm sorry, sir. None of Normandy's surveillance feeds have been responding since Shepard went rogue. I want it back. Retry the remote lockdown protocols. After our last attempt, Edie flooded our server with seven zettabytes of explicit images. I think she was making a joke. It doesn't make jokes, Doctor. Allocate a team for a new project. Codename Eva. This time, we'll ensure it stays loyal. You never told me about Cerberus trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under control. Seven zettabytes? Most of it was Jeff's. That was... a joke. I know. And thank you. Another security lock. I can bypass it. Incursion team, are you still with us? We're limiting fire as best we can. Admiral, we're in deep and the Prothean VI will be in the safest part of the station. Don't hold back. This isn't Torfin Shepard. I'm not risking you unless I have to. I'll be fine. Just take Cerberus down. Please. Understood, Commander. All ships, you're free to fire. Generator. Looks like the fifth fleet's coming through. They'll get it done. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Ready for action. Your eagerness is commendable, but the cybernetics take time to get used to, believe me. You really do remind me of Shepard. Shepard betrayed you. No. Shepard was never anything more than a tool. Finish your therapy and put together a plan for the Citadel. Counselor Odina is... amenable. Yes, sir. I could have taken her. Absolutely. But the Council was your priority, not Shepard. Because of her, the Council is still in power. You want your shot at Shepard? You'll get it. Head to Thessia. Shepard will be there soon. And I want you waiting. Here it is. Excellent. The Prothean VI should enable us to determine the nature of the catalyst. Combined with the breakthrough at Sanctuary, we have everything we need. We just need to tie up a few loose ends. Like Shepard. She should have died on Thessia. Should I finish her? You'll have your chance soon enough. For now, Sanctuary gave us a proof of concept for controlling the Reapers. And made it a target. Miranda Lawson. Get the data from Sanctuary. If Miranda gets in your way, deal with her. It will be a pleasure, sir. human proto-reaper we killed. What's left of it? I'm surprised Cerberus recovered that much from the base. All those colonists kidnapped, processed into that. And Cerberus hangs it up like a trophy. The elusive man convinced me to work with him to save the colonies. 
But he never really cared, did he? I think he did. He just cares more about studying it. The dead are only a statistic now. Somehow, that seems even worse. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The central core, analogous to the heart, is largely intact. I believe Cerberus is using it for a power source. 